Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hey everyone. Hey everybody. Our quest for food continues. And this time we're at a place we have never done yet for the channel. One that's rare. And uh, man, you don't see too many of these open or closed anymore. We're at Bob's Big Boy here in Streetsboro, Ohio. And this one's been closed for a good long time. We're talking at least 11 years. Uh, if I remember correctly, from what I understand, this closed in 2010 and still abandoned places for sale but there's nothing going on here except mountains of snow that I'm about to walk out and and uh, check out the restaurant for you guys so I guess I'm not finding a burger or anything around here um if you find a burger here then <laughs> that burger is probably toxic and you will probably <laughs> need to go to the hospital if you eat that it wouldn't be any worse than if I ate one out of the ground at City View Center I guess I mean if you want a hamburger around here there's Burger King. Yeah, we could go to the old Burger King up the road. That's some other place or the pizza that became an Asian restaurant. There's a lot of abandoned stuff in this town, but I'm just nailing this big boy here so we can... That sounded really dirty. You're nailing the big boy. All <laughs> right. That's what he said. She said. Whatever. I wanted to make a bad joke. Let's go explore this place. <laughs> Ow. I can't even do that right. Sorry. You not be so in glasses. <laughs> All right, and this time I'm actually gonna wear gloves like a normal person should. What the heck? I love this girl. All right, let's go explore before it's dark out. <laughs> All right, here we are at Bob's Big Boy. This place is hard. <laughs> Glass is all moldy-ish, if that's even a word. Yeah, been closed at least 11 years. I know someone filmed this a couple of years ago, Venom Channel. I can't think of the correct name, I'm sorry, but it'll say at the bottom of the screen. But yeah, you don't see too many of these closed up. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> yeah, look at all the mold in there, the wallpaper's coming down. Wow. Yeah, the window's broken inside. How's it broken on the inside? Unless they just put a new pane up over top of it, but it's hurting. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty bad in there. Look at, the, I love the uh, the awning though, with the red and white checkered, the premium big boy ice cream signage. This is definitely a first for me, as was the other place. There was their sign there. And then, I mean, the label scar up, up here. Let me walk over here a little bit. It is so bright. Yeah, that's badass. You don't see too many of these closed up. And the thing is, they closed, at the time of the closure of this one, they closed up, I think it was two other locations. One in Stowe, and I forget where the third one may have been. I don't want to die standing under that, but let's try and make it quick. <laughs> oh man, look at that in there. That's cool. It's a shame it's in bad shape. I love this solarium or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I would totally eat here. We don't have too many of these restaurants. I can't even tell you the last time I've been to one. I think I was a child. And I know they have them in some areas and some cities and whatnot, but there's not many. American style cuisine, if you're wondering, by the way, too. Oh, good. These uh, blinds came down. I'm able to get a nice, good view in there. I gotta lean forward because the wall kicks out down at the bottom. There you go. Let's hope the glass doesn't break <laughs> from me leaning on it. There we go. Man. We literally, I mean, this is abandoned too, whatever this is. 
I'm not sure. I'm not even doing that place today. I'll come back and do that another day. But whatever this place is next door to us, because we want to get to Cleveland and hang out up there, you know, today. Wow, that's really bad. Look at how that's collapsing. All the uh, wood damage, it's all rotting away, falling apart. It's in pretty bad shape. That's a shame. Even the light fell off the wall from all the mold and water damage. And there's plenty of it. See how the wall's all rotted out? And you might not be able to see it on camera, but there's actually water dripping off of that insulation and where the wood came down up there. And it's even starting to come down up here, too. That's a shame. Here's more windows over here. I gotta watch so I don't get killed by these icicles. I probably wouldn't, but I don't need a boo-boo. <laughs> a boo-boo. Oh, oh, my head. <laughs> What a cool find, though. You don't see these. And aren't you guys glad it's not a pizza hut? <laughs> I don't know what we can see in here. If anything, these windows are pretty dirty. Oh, wow, yeah, the tiles are all coming down from the ceiling. Man, look at the artwork, though. Through the blinds. Yeah, look at that artwork through the blinds. Isn't that cool? Those onion rings, man. <laughs> Let's go back up to this window here and look through this one, too. Uh, we'll go look through... Uh, we'll go look through this one. They're all pretty dirty. I'm just sorry for the light glare and... The blinds kind of blocking the view. Man. Do any of you guys live out this way? Are you familiar with this particular location? Comment below if you have. If you know anything about this. How was their food here? Were they good? Why did they close? Is it because of financial troubles? Because I know... They've been closing restaurants for years, and I mean, there's not many of these left anymore that are even open. Don't want to step in that. I don't feel like breaking an ankle today. <laughs> this snow's not too deep. Over there it is, and naturally the old TV. Just throw it away. Just throw it right behind the building. Kayla's hanging out in the car like a smart person, and hey, I'm wearing gloves. I'm nice and warm, even though our pens are not doing so hot this year. <laughs> oh, that was really deep. That was about a foot deep. What's that say? Spectrum. We are here for you. I don't think so, bud. <laughs> They're not here for you, anyway. Anyway, nice big parking lot. Got a bunch of brand new Hyundai Sonatas and whatever else those things, those ugly cars are. Man, Sonatas went from being okay looking to just horrendous looking. And they're still not very good cars, in my opinion. I mean, they're not bad, but they got some problems. I mean, every car does, but they got some problems that I'd just stay away from them. Besides how ugly they look. <laughs> and I know I drive a $1,500, 22-year-old car, but you know what? That thing's been to Texas twice, North Carolina, New York, Michigan. I've taken that thing to like 20-something states. <laughs> Oh, well, that's our look at Big Boy. Boy, do I love the checker pattern on this building. And I hope you enjoyed looking at this. This was fun. All right. Well, I'm actually not that cold this time because I wore gloves like a normal person should do if they're outside. And thanks to my in-laws, you know, I'm wearing this really, really super warm Carhartt. Like, it's a zip-up hoodie, but it's got wool inside. It's super thick, and oh, my God, it's just heaven. I <laughs> I have my heavy jacket, but I don't think I have it with me. Well, um, you, well you also stay in the car. No, yours is on the back seat somewhere. Mm -hmm. But she also stays in the car like a normal person, too. Yeah, yours is back there. 
Yeah, she got one too. These things are so warm. I love wearing this thing to work, by the way. So mom and dad, if you happen to see this video, thank you. <laughs> it's been great for those single digit mornings when I go to work and great for exploring like this. So that's just a shame that this one's in bad shape. Um, like I said, if you guys live out this way or know anything about this restaurant or if you ate here, let me know in the comments what this place was like, how it was, why it closed, if you know. And uh, yeah, that was cool. That was a cool find. I, I mean, I knew about this place and I didn't know if it even still existed because the last person that did a video here that I saw, I mean, I, there might be other videos that I missed, but the person's video I saw was from 2018. So it's uh, cool that it's still here for us to check out, but sad that it's in it's getting closer and closer to disrepair. And I've never been to Big Boys before, so if you guys have been there, tell me what it's like. Yeah, I mean, I was telling them I haven't been to one since I was a child. I've never been to one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they used to be a lot more numerous back in the day, and now they're far and few between, so, but... Like we thought. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, oh, and if you know what that building was next door, even though I'm not doing a video on that place today, because we want to go and up to Cleveland and check out some other things. If you know what that business was, let me know in the comments as well. We're right here on Route 14 in Streetsboro, so please let me know. And on that note, now I want ice cream, so we might have to go back to Slim Chickens. It's like <laughs> one degree outside. So what? All I gotta do is just get an ice cream cone and put some snow on it. Just make sure it's not yellow. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I go over to Walmart, get chocolate syrup for it, have a chocolate snow cone put pop tarts and like sardines and skittles and fruit loops on it Isn't that disgusting Eaten. just random concoctions of food <laughs> look at my face yeah yeah i hear you <laughs> all right we're taking off everybody hope you enjoyed if you did give the video a like as always if you're not a subscriber subscribe hit the subscribe button you'll be alerted for all content if you ring the uh the bell on there and uh well we'll see you next time Take care, everybody. Stay awesome. Have a big boy lunch today. Big boy lunch today. Knocking the camera over. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>